Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video, I will again resume my conversation about some more interesting topics of set analysis. So, if you have watched the last video, you must have seen, you know, how you can use the wildcard characters, you know, the variables, and uh, you know, a couple of other interesting things like, you know, in, uh, specifying multiple conditions into the click view, and uh, also how you can reduce the impact of any selection filter uh, by utilizing uh, the, uh, you know, flexibility we have in the set analysis. So in this video, we will be looking at a couple of more interesting, uh, you know, flexibility or you can say, you know, the features that ClickView Set Analysis provide. So to show that, first let's remove certain, uh, you know, conditions that we have put because while showing you, we have actually given a lot of conditions over here. So I am just going to do I'm just going to have the shipping fee condition and I will remove everything from here. Delete. Okay. So simply it is showing uh, or saying that uh, give me those total order values where shipping fees is less than equals 200. I click OK. And this is how it is coming. Now it will have the impact of uh, employee ID selection uh, as well as the customer selection. So in this way, you know, my values are changing, right? But say for example, now you want to say that, okay, that's fine. I want, uh, I want the uh, status, I want those total order values where the shipping fees is less than or equals to 100, right? And that's what we have specified over here in this, that give me those order total values where shipping fees is less than equals 200 but what if if we want to say that please do not accept any other filter that uh, you have in the uh, in the uh, your click view document so in click view document you can have as many as filter you need it right so if if you want to remove that behavior so in the last video i told that you just specify the dimension like uh, cu customer name and simply put equal to customer name equals to and then nothing you know no need to specify anything and in this way that filter will not have any impact so this i've already shown in the last video but what if if you have 15 or 20 different filters right in your click view document so will you going to write every dimension and put equals to sign after that and no value so that probably is not a feasible way of doing that. If we want to reduce the impact of every filter that, you know, uh, our click view is document is having, then there is a very quick and easy way of doing this. What you can do, you can simply put here one. I will tell you what it really means. So we will first go back and click OK apply and okay so nothing is changed here but as soon as we click on any filter right now nothing is changing if i clear see if i'm selecting anything nothing is changing because my value is fixed you can say that this metric is having no impact of any filter or any selection you will going to have in your document so basically uh, how we have done this let's go back and go to properties and see that so i just told that we need to put one so one is what indicating is basically an uh, click view set analysis uh, condition and it says that whenever you have one that means it is not accepting any uh, filter value or any selection uh, which you will have from the front end in the quick view document. If you do not have this, if I'm removing this and clicking OK, right, see that value is changing now. So whenever we are not specifying any value here, 
so we specified one earlier if we are not specifying any value that is equals to dollar so if i just specify dollar you can see one two three four dollar one dollar two dollar three i'll tell you about that but for now we will just see what dollar means dollar is uh, is something like which is saying that this is a set analysis and you have specified the condition but i will going to accept whatever filters you have outside uh, in your document and change the value of this metric so i just click okay so it has the same behavior compared to where i do not where i have not specified earlier anything dollar or one right so if you specify dollar sign or if you do not specify dollar sign that's fine because that's a default nature of set analysis right that's why you have seen in my earlier videos also i have not specified so even i'm not specifying the dollar values no impact no problem and even if you are specifying that's good because that's something you know standard practice that we should always follow but like i have become an experienced developer sometimes i specify sometimes i don't specify so but good way is to always specify the dollar sign to indicate that what kind of set expression you are writing and if you don't want to accept anything or any filter value from the front end click one or say one click ok and now it will not have any impact right so this is basically you know i wanted to tell uh, a very good feature of uh, set analysis and now let's uh, move on to see some uh, some more interested features uh, about the set analysis so currently if i see my expression uh, it is saying that give me the those total order values where shipping fees is less than equals to 100 percent but what if if i want to say that whatever is your selections say for example about the customer name set always have a particular customer included in your uh, results so for example uh, about the real time scenario if i talk about whenever uh, you know we create any global matrix say if you, your uh, operations are at you know different global locations like uh, asia pacific uh, europe uh, middle east uh, america so apart from all of this location you know you always have something like a headquarters location and in your result you always want to include you know your headquarter values this is like one of the you know general example or scenario i have seen across the companies that they always want to have uh, headquarters values included in their operations so what this means is if you have an operation in europe but somebody uh, is sitting in headquarter and supporting europe also right so in that case you want to pick that value mention it as in headquarter that a resource is sitting in headquarter and supporting the europe so you always want to include that into your metric just a you know uh, example about uh, why we want to have a default value or for example uh, you have a product uh, which is something uh, you know is uh, always uh, always included into some other product or something like it's always given with the combination of other product you know you want to include that just you know hypothetical example i'm taking so in that case you know how you will going to do that so something like this employee id or these employee names you always want jane kotas to be selected by default and then any other selection so what this means is maybe jan kutas is the department head it he should always be selected and then have the result affected over here in this metric after that whatever selection you will take on top of that will always have jan kutas selected so to do that what we will do we will just put a comma say employee id and then plus equal to this is the major thing plus equals to plus is saying the union you know include this in addition to other filters and then uh, the name of the 
value which is Chan Katas. Okay. So simply this, this. Alright. So we will for now uh will not bother about this because since our expression is coming okay. So for now we'll click OK. Apply and OK. You can see there is no. So whenever I select anything, you know my metric is making sure that giant quotas is always selected on top of that. So you can audit your results also based on uh, what the value is. But this set ex this is how the set expression will going to help me. That I don't have to select it always from here and then press control and select any other one, right? That's how I will going to do if I don't have that expression uh, built up for Jan Kutas, right? So this is one thing, you know how I have included Jan Kutas in my selection. But what if if I don't want Jan Kutas to be included in my selections and then any other selection or wants to you know subtract the value of Jan Kutas based on what is there in the matrix. So very simple in a state of plus sign I will have negative sign minus. What it is doing it is subtracting the Jan Kutas result uh, from this matrix whenever I am making any selection. Say for example, this person has, you know, uh, moved on and now not working anymore. So we just want to remove that. So, so based on whatever selection I will make, this set expression will always make sure now that Jan Kutas is not included in my table. So this is how, you know, uh, you can add few more flexibilities into the uh, your set uh, into your matrix and charts and apart from this uh, say for example you want to have some intersection of values say for example you want to produce a values only for those orders which is closed intersecting with the employee ID so Mario Maria for Maria you want to show only those products if they are closed so for that you can use the intersection operator which is a star in this case so what I will do I will simply remove first this X condition and say status star is equals to closed so based on whatever you know employee value we will select it will going to intersect with closed and give us those shipping uh, those order total where shipping fees is less than 100 I will simply click OK and OK and the rest of the values is gone so whatever employee I will select it will going to intersect with the closed value and shipping fees is less than 100 then it will give generate the value for me so uh, so you can see that how flexible and you know amazing result you can achieve based on you know different kind of business condition you have in this way you will not have to run into issues whenever you know a new business condition is coming you will always say yes to the business conditions that are coming to your plate so this is pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the next video with a new topic till then bye bye